so hello everyone my name is Rafael thank you for download my um, a330 merge so I'm here to show you some tips on the operation of it so um, first thing unfortunately some things cannot be operated on the virtual cockpit just on the 2d panel so I'm here on the Guarulhos with the a3 a330 300 from Swiss prepared from a flight to Rio de Janeiro so I have the weights already prepared um, the flaps configuration uh, settings at least on my paperwork all of this I will not show is not a flight tutorial just a small tips on the on this merge uh, operations so uh, first thing so you're here already on the runway with the aircraft cold and dark and now we're gonna have a quick start just to show you how to operate some things on the virtual cockpit so the first thing is uh, to start on the 2d panel also our aircraft start on the flight simulator on the 2d panel so uh, first thing is to open here the overhead clicking right here on the top of the autopilot panel um, then you switch on the batteries the fuel pumps as we're gonna use the APU to start the engines uh, the APU generator and the APU battery, so also the nav light. And we can start APU, put the signs on, so you're gonna have a time to do that clearly. So you can see the pages here. In this case, we are using a host hoist engine, so you can see the entry indication here. Uh, and you can see also the APU is turning on, so we're gonna already let this key here to have the engines prepared to be. Uh, started so you can see the autopilot panel is not configured so uh, we're gonna you can see the engine page here so we're gonna switch to the virtual cockpit uh, so you can see here the virtual cockpit configured so uh, we can you can open the icons here clicking on this red so you can see the FMGC the autopilot controls and, and, and as well the lower ECAM controls so you do not during flight you do not have to come back to the 2D panel you can open and close this how many times you like so we return to the 2D unfortunately to have to, to open the APU bleed um, and then I can show I'm gonna show you how we can uh, start the engines from the VC first thing we're gonna Open here, checking the engine page, the APU page, everything is okay. Right, the bleeds page, the APU bleed is open. So uh, you can start uh, returning to the engine page and start by clicking on that button. You can see the engine is pulling up, engine starting. You can hear the the sound of the these two mighty whole size engines. After 17%, just switch the fuel. So. I forgot to put the beacon on, you can put on the VC. You can control all the lights except the strobo from the VC. So the you can to start the engine one you're gonna see this weird thing that key will move but the engine will work as well. Pretty nice audio downloaded from flight scene. So you just start and start it then number one so I'm gonna assume that's a real operation so you already have your FMGC configured uh, all the paperwork you need for takeoff your rotated plan and your gross weight inserted your V1 VR and V2 inserted and everything so as I said it's not a flight tutorial so you come back you can check your flight controls your takeoff trim so you just have to set it put the flaps on you don't need to set the autopilot from the 2d so the auto brake on max then you can set up your AP autopilot controls here to the altitude you want so we have to return here so after the engine start you can in the runway you can configure a key a shortcut to be the strobo but the 
the nose lights and the landing lights you're gonna have to use Control L not work on the VC controls as well so you close it there and start to take off don't mind the lever climb here uh, it's just because I reloaded the plane on this tutorial normally you're gonna see the takeoff go around so you can also configure your optimeter adjust your key and H just open and close it's up to you just to remind you this is setting uh, this aircraft is set on kilos you can change to pounds uh, the fuel planner works well the load manager and um, the normal PSS controls so you can close it out if you want. See? Gently take off. I settled the shortcut for the auto brake. A is low and D is medium. F is for maximum. Never use maximum auto brake for a plane. And do not iron speed brake on ground. Only on flight. So you can open autopilot and Control your aircraft, your autopilot uh, icon, mini panel. See, you don't have to return to the 2D, and as well, the autopilot's indication will be shown on the on the virtual cockpit autopilot panel. Right here on the middle, you can see 6,000 feet and the heading we choose. So. That's it. I hope you like it. Any questions, half a piloto195 at gmail.com. Thank you.